Have you ever wondered why nursing students seem to have a difficult time using critical thinking skills to take content from a course and apply it to practice? Well, we believe that it has something to do with the way we as educators structure teaching and assessment practices. As educators, we believe that critical reflection on our own teaching and assessment practices is needed in order to deliver quality education to nursing students. Traditional testing where students memorize information and recite it on a closed book exam happens often in nursing courses. In this paper, we critique the overuse of traditional testing in nursing education. When we think about why we test the way we do, it raises some questions about what it means for student learning. In this paper, we outline the behaviorist philosophies that traditional testing is based on and how these approaches have been criticized for preventing students from thinking critically. We talk about how oppression manifests itself in nursing education, with a particular focus on traditional testing as a tool that can be used to oppress students. We are not trying to say that traditional exams should never be used. Instead, we use critical caring pedagogy to argue for more authentic assessment in nursing. An authentic assessment is one that is designed to prepare students for practice by mirroring as closely as possible the circumstances that nurses will need to use the tested material in. Throughout this paper, we talk about ways to help students develop critical consciousness, which Freire discusses as a type of critical thinking where students are empowered to challenge oppression in society. To help them develop critical thinking skills, we believe that students need to be challenged to solve problems and be given time to reflect on course content. Critical caring pedagogy is used in this paper to talk about ideas for changing how we test students. There are ideas in this paper for how critical caring pedagogy might be used to change how exams are designed, but we acknowledge that what an exam looks like is context specific. We also talk about how planning in advance for learning diversity through thinking about universal design for learning helps educators demonstrate critical caring pedagogy, meets student needs, and reduces faculty workload. There are several ideas in this paper for how to shift different types of testing towards more authentic and inclusive approaches. Readers will most likely not use all the ideas at once, but we hope that it promotes some critical thinking and discussion about teaching practices. In our next paper, we will provide a critical analysis of how academic integrity during authentic assessment might look when the ideas in this paper are employed. There is a need for more research to test the ideas throughout this paper. We thank you for watching this video and hope you enjoy reading our paper.